Well, Aaron, Dan, tonight firefighters telling us that an open, unsecured vent contributed to this building going up in flames, and that's a problem that could lead to more fires. So the results of our investigation concluded that the cause of the fire was accidental. It was an accident that led to this three alarm blaze in Chinatown last month that destroyed the empty building known as a swinging door. Investigators say the fire originated in one of several vents that allow air to circulate beneath the building. As in some older buildings, the vents are exposed on sidewalks and one homeless man decided to use it as a barbecue pit. It was seen lighting a fire in what we call a cat hole, otherwise a vent hole directly in front of the building. Uh, in an attempt to cook some food. The Victory Mission building right next door also has exposed vents, but they're secured with metal grates. Selena's Fire now in the process of sending out fire prevention inspectors to Chinatown to look at other vacant buildings to make sure vents are sealed or secured, and if not, get the property owner to fix the problem. Well, absolutely, I mean, the, the fire itself, um, you know, heightens our awareness uh, and our urgency. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look and confirm what's going on down there, but not just down there, but all over the city where we've got abandoned properties. Ken Cusson, director of Victory Mission, says it's a miracle his men's shelter didn't burn down with the swinging door. And I think it's a good thing to go after those vents and see what we can do about cleaning them up and closing them off as much as possible. Uh, but it, just the vents aren't the problem. It wasn't the vent that caused the fire. It was the guy trying to barbecue out there. And as you just heard, the firefighters won't be just focused on the Chinatown area, but they'll be looking citywide for any vents that might be unsecured and open that could pose the problems. And firefighters will have their hands full. There are dozens of vacant buildings in the city limits. Aaron, Dan. Felix, thank you. Fire investigators and police are still looking for the man who started that fire. He could be facing charges of starting an illegal fire.